I found a ladder inside a hallway. I'm not sure if the top latch to the roof is open or not, but I am gonna put on the GoPro right now, strap it to my head, climb up this ladder and see if this latch is open or not. There might be an alarm. I'm gonna strap on the GoPro, wish me luck. Hopefully it's open. If it is, this is about to be lit. So let's get it. What is up guys, Harmonious here and I'm starting my vlog in downtown. If you guys saw my last video, you guys saw the part where I accidentally stumbled across this ladder that takes you to the rooftops of Chinatown. the whole plan today. I'm actually right next to Grand Central Market, so I'm gonna go there, grab some food real quick, head to Chinatown. Hopefully that ladder is unlocked once again. There's like multiple, multiple buildings around that whole area, and I think that one roof connected to all those buildings. I might have to do some jumping around or something sketchy, but I'm not exactly sure. Last time I didn't do too much discovering because I was with Alan, and he was waiting at the bottom, so this time I'm just gonna go by myself, put on the GoPro, and just look around the rooftop, see if I can find anything interesting. So first things first, let's go grab some food at Grand Central Market. Harmonious world out there. Harmonious. Very, very harmonious. Scrumptiously, obviously harmonious. Peace. Last time I came to the Grand Central Market, I actually came here with Johnny and he took me to a restaurant where they sold like really huge tacos. Normally tacos, they cost a dollar, dollar fifty at most. I normally like paying like a dollar seventy five cents for a taco because I think that's how much they should cost. But yeah, this is two tacos. It almost looks like freaking a burrito cut in half. That's what two tacos looks like from here. It's freaking ridiculous. I've never gone to any other restaurant where they sold tacos and burritos and had tacos this freaking big. I think it's like three dollars and fifty cents per taco. Doesn't that look like, look at that. That's like a mini burrito, dude. That's one taco. So I'm gonna finish these tacos right here. Go find a spot to scale and then go hit that roof. So let's get it. Finally, I found a skate spot right behind me. It's basically like a little manual pad. One of the best things about downtown is it feels like endless with skate spots. A lot of them like vary completely differently. There's like banks, ledges, stairs. There's all types of stuff in downtown. It's a really beautiful area, but then again, there's also kind of like a weird dark side. And just about anywhere in downtown, you'll see stuff like this right here. Let me show you. I was gonna put my backpack down right there. And then there's three freaking needles and the needles are out. Someone can literally just freaking accidentally poke themselves. What kind of shit is that? That super sucks to see right here because I don't know, this is kind of like a little chilling plaza. I could honestly see like someone coming here with their family just to kick it for a bit. And some kid could honestly just grab one of those needles, unexpectedly just poke themselves. Either way, I'm going to search around. Hopefully I don't see any more needles on the floor, but I'm going to go for a manual and a nose manual. Maybe a couple more tricks on this manual pad. So let's get it. That manual pad spot was ridiculously fun to skate. I always say ridiculously, but that manual pad spot was really fun to skate. I honestly wanted to stay there a little bit longer to do some more tricks other than the basics that I did. There was like one major problem right there. It freaking smelled like piss everywhere I freaking went. I tried to adjust my camera angle maybe like six, seven times in every location to put my camera into. It just stunk like people have been pissing there for years. I was kind of putting up with that for like five, 10 minutes and like it was getting to a point where I felt like I could like taste the piss in my mouth almost. It was so bad, but the sun is starting to I think
think I have like another hour to hour and a half before the sun fully sets. So I am heading to Chinatown right now. I'm hoping that that ladder is unlocked once again so I could just have an easy climb up there. And one thing I do have to ask because it feels like I'm getting mixed reviews right now. Let me know what you guys think about the climbing videos in my comment section. Personally, I have been enjoying it a lot. It's a lot of fun for me. I've always been into climbing stuff. I've always been into like climbing on roofs. It's something like me and my homies have been doing our whole lives, our whole skating lives. And now that I found a way to mix basically filming and also climbing roofs, which is like a lot of fun, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. But I don't want to keep posting videos if you guys don't enjoy watching them. So let me know what you guys think about the climbing videos in the comment section. I'm wondering if I should continue doing them or not, but I actually really like doing them. But in the end, I think the footage and like the overall experience is completely worth it because it's really cool. And it's awesome that I get to take you guys along with me with a GoPro on my head. But either way, I'm going to head to Chinatown right now and hopefully I'll get there with like at least an hour or so I left. So let's get it. <laughs> living in LA for like 20 plus years and on my way to Chinatown which I've been to a million times I passed by this small street which I've never taken before and turns out it's like a giant street full of just like Hispanic type stores really freaking cool they have a lot of awesome stuff in here everything seems authentic as hell like all the stores all the storefronts all look really authentic either way I have like half a mile left to Chinatown so let's continue Okay, I finally made it to the Chinatown Plaza, which I was at the other day to get the fireworks. And I think I might have made it a little bit too late. It looks like they're closing down completely. Look at that. They usually have like a bunch of stores in front right here that are basically like pushing out into the sidewalk and all of them are closed. So I'm actually kind of worried that the ladder might be closed right now. Let's go to the back and see. I definitely got here way too freaking late. They already closed everything down. That's actually where I was supposed to go inside there. Okay, I just came in through the side entrance. Oh God, it smells so bad in there. Well, that was a complete freaking fail. I took too long and now everything is closed. Usually all these stores are open right here too. And that's the door that I usually take up to get to the ladder that's right there. Dang, this completely freaking sucks because that was my whole plan right here. This was my video for today and it completely did not work out. All right, I'm going to try to figure something else out. Maybe hop onto another roof, but I might end up just finding another skate spot, skating it for a while and then going back home. So let's see what happens. Okay, I have about like 30, 40 minutes before the sun sets and this is my last chance right here. I'm at another Chinese market plaza. It's like a two-story plaza. I found a ladder inside a hallway. I'm not sure if the top latch to the roof is open or not, but I am gonna put on the GoPro right now, strap it to my head, climb up this ladder, and see if this latch is open or not. There might be an alarm. I'm not exactly sure. I've never actually like opened up a roof latch before because I've never had to deal with a situation like this, but I'm gonna strap on the GoPro. Wish me luck. Hopefully it's open. If it is, this is about to be lit, so let's get it. All right, here we go. It's like breaking off. Look at that. It's like not even screwed together. This whole thing could fall off potentially. made it up here I, I usually don't like filming on the GoPro because the audio is not that great but this is really intense this is crazy whenever I do climbs like this by myself I always get super freaking scared so I'm gonna leave relatively soon oh wait there's another roof right here yes! Chinatown baby some guys looking at me and people could see me from the stores oh. okay I'm out of here Down, 
All right, I'm, I'm coming down. Come down right now. All right, coming. Hey, Roberto, ven. Más allá, ven. ¿Dónde están esas pinches estrellas? All right, guys, you're not in trouble, okay? It just, it's just me. Nah, yeah? It's just me, yeah. All right, just have a seat over here, bro. All right. Now just have a seat. Hey, watch them real quick, yeah?